Today we are testing Amazon Basics art supplies. Every time I go up on Amazon and I am looking at art supplies, these things are always suggested to me. So from my understanding, Amazon basically has their own brand of art supplies that is a lot more affordable than other art supplies. Not as affordable as something like Crayola, but cheaper than Prismacolor kind of thing. A nice in-between. So naturally, I decided to buy them after seeing them recommended to me so many times. And if they've been recommended for you as well, at least you don't have to buy them because I'm trying them for you. <laughs> but if you do like anything you see in this video, I will link everything I'm using below. So the first thing we got are these Amazon Basics drawing pencils. It's storming here and if the power goes out, <laughs> that would suck because I'm, hold on. I actually have high hopes with this because it looks like a really high quality drawing set and it wasn't very expensive. I paid a total of $6.72 for this set. So let's open the other stuff and then we're gonna put these supplies to the test. So this box here, you already got a peek at in the beginning of the video. It is a marker set. What's cool about this is it is a dual ended set. So we have this end over here, which is your typical brush nib. And then this side, is a bullet nib. This is a 52 pack of markers. That's a lot. Whoa, what did I pay for this? Hold on. This marker set was only $21.87. I can't wait to swatch these. I can't wait to see if they're good or not. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love this color, wow. Now for the final art supply I got. This box here is what was probably recommended to me the most. It is the reason why I'm doing this video because I finally caved and got these. Let's open it up and see what's inside. You can probably already tell what's inside by the tag here. Oh my goodness. This looks like a really nice colored pencil set. This tin is beautiful. There are 72 colored pencils in here. The back actually has like all the color swatches and all the information, which is really nice. I think the packaging is really pretty. Like I honestly wouldn't have expected that from Amazon. Thick cores resist breakage and provide longer lasting use. Is that shade? Okay, let's open these up. Whoa, these are beautiful. Look how beautiful these are. Wow, these colors are just amazing. If you can see that right there, they're not sharpened very well. So when we go to use them, I will sharpen them better. But I'm, I'm probably gonna use my good sharpener instead of that Amazon sharpener, so. Don't hate. This is just a lot quicker for 72 pencils. Anyway, we are gonna test this stuff. I am so excited. Okay, we've got our trusty sketchbook. It would be really cool to simultaneously be reviewing an Amazon Basics sketchbook. However, just gonna drop some hints here. I am almost done with this sketchbook. So a tour is coming and I have a really cool sketchbook video coming that involves a lot of stuff. So that's your hint. I shall not say anything more. Oh, maybe I should. I think I'm, I'm gonna try to keep it cute like this. Wow, okay, I broke one. So this is our drawing set, presented very beautifully. I wanna try to use like all three things in one piece. Wouldn't that be fun? Let me, wait, we have to test some stuff, right? I'm just gonna test a couple things before we jump in. Wow, these are nice. 
Okay, we have our soft charcoal. Ooh, I like this. I normally hate charcoal, so that says a lot. Hard charcoal. Ooh, this is really nice charcoal. It's like so smooth. Okay, let's do the, the stick that I broke. <laughs> Ooh, beautiful. Blending stump. I hate these things, but doing it for you guys. Ugh, the sensory experience is rough. <sighs> okay. <sighs> We're good. We tried it. We're making a mess. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like all this stuff is surprisingly really good. Dude, for $6, like you cannot beat this. Got our needy racer. This one is so cute. I like don't even wanna open it. <laughs> Before we dive into this, I want to say a couple things. I bought this stuff with my own money. I'm testing it so you guys literally don't have to. But in case you're curious, the review is here. But also, I just want to preface this with a little reminder and some encouragement. Whether you use the absolute cheapest of cheap art supplies or the most high-end, expensive, professional quality, it is not the supplies that makes you a good artist. It is you, it is the skills you know, it is the practice that you have put into your work. So I wanted to put that out there because I'm trying this Amazon stuff because it is super affordable. And my hope is that if there are any of you guys out there who maybe have a smaller budget or you're just getting into art, then yeah, I hope this is helpful for you and gives you an idea of like what kind of stuff is out there, what kind of stuff you can use. If you're also just somebody who uses professional stuff all the time and you're curious like me, have fun watching. <laughs> Not bad. Sorry, I picked the worst page to swatch on because this is like a very lumpy situation. Test my other favorite color. Okay, let's swatch some of these. Whoa. Get out! They sent me a marker holder? This just got really cool. This is seriously so satisfying. <laughs> okay, let's actually draw some stuff. I guess I should have maybe used the sketching pencils to like sketch this out. <laughs> this thing is kind of inspired by a hedgehog. It does not look much like one. Get a little floofier. Okay, so far for the colored pencils, my lead has broke two times. Just saying. I just thought of something. I should clarify, these are water-based markers and not alcohol-based markers. Ooh, we should do some cute little blush. All right, I'm just gonna be real. This does not feel like a hedgehog, but whatever it is, I am vibing with it. Like, it is so cute. What should we name this little thing? What should we name it? Comment down below. Why you're so fuzzy? This is going from like a review to now we're creating a character. <sighs> okay, this lead sucks. It breaks really easily, guys. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Every pencil I have used so far is broken. Okay, I kinda wanna name this little dude Floofles. I don't know why that sounds so cute. I think I want to practice like drawing a person very loosely. I'm not the greatest at proportions, so like, it's intimidating. But the best way to get better is to practice, to be kind to yourself. Let's just start over on the arm. 
Well, I kind of drew her too low on the page, but she's wearing boots. I'm just gonna redo the entire head. <laughs> I don't draw people like very much anymore, but something I really want to improve at is proportions. So my goal I think is to probably dip back into drawing and painting people here and there. It is a couple days later. I ended up closing stuff down for the day when I was drawing because the thunderstorms got so bad that the power was flickering and the thunder was just really loud and it wasn't an ideal time to make a video. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of skin tones. <laughs> okay, uh, these markers are really streaky when you layer them. So this isn't gonna look the best. I love the nibs on these, but yeah, they are not good for like layering and blending, but that's okay, we'll make the most of it. I feel like maybe a cute peachy boot color. Cute little flowers all over her dress. Ooh, I should make these like black eyed Susans. Okay, I think it would be fun to do like a pink outline. Ah, I like that. <laughs> then maybe I can outline the skin in purple. to make these flowers look... Ugh, this lead keeps breaking. <laughs> I wanna make these flowers look like they have some variety to the texture. I'm also trying to keep this like illustrative cause this is just like a sketchbook doodle, you know? Just for fun, for funsies. Okay, now to lighten the sky. I have officially given these a three star rating, maybe two and a half, because the lead breaks so easily. It's really uh, kind of frustrating. And I don't even press like that hard either. We'll see if my review changes at the end of this video though. Okay, I want to do some highlights to her skin tone here and there, just to add some fun depth. This is so like happy feeling. <laughs> All right, at this point, I'm literally just like having fun in my sketchbook. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. I feel like this has such a retro summer vibe. All right, we finished the sketchbook page. Not gonna lie, it was really fun to just doodle for a video and have no pressure because I'm testing out some art supplies. So this is what we did. I tried to use pretty much all of the supplies except for that blending stump. So we used the brown charcoal, the drawing pencils, the markers, the colored pencils, pretty much all of it. This neat eraser here, great stuff. So let me give you my thoughts on the supplies and hopefully this either satisfies your curiosity if Amazon recommends this stuff to you 
or I hope it helps people out there who are maybe looking for affordable art supplies. So my brutally honest review for these colored pencils, I would rate this two and a half out of five stars. I am somebody who is usually very generous with reviews. I usually think very highly of stuff, even when other people see flaws <laughs> in stuff, because I am the type of person who always sees the good. But these pencils, I kid you not, they break so easily, and I don't press hard. I'm a light colorer who layers a lot, and every pencil I used, I think, would chip as I was coloring. It was very annoying. <laughs> now, as far as color selection goes, it has a phenomenal color selection, so that's probably the best thing it has going for it. But if you're somebody like me who likes to layer your colors a lot and mix colors and blend, I would maybe recommend something else. This is probably not as advanced as you would perhaps need. For somebody who maybe is just looking to color in an adult coloring book, or maybe you're a beginner artist, or maybe you're a kid, these would be great for you. But if you are somebody who is maybe intermediate or advanced, I would recommend something else. My honest review. <laughs> just a side note, it makes me so nervous to say my opinions on art supplies sometimes because if somebody out there really likes these pencils and then I just like gave that kind of review, yeah, I don't know. I don't wanna upset people. Okay, so these water-based markers from Amazon Basics, I, would give this a four and a half out of five stars because for it being a water-based marker, these are probably some of the best I have used. I really love that there are two ends. So if you're doing like bullet journaling or you need to write words, you can use the bullet nib. But if you're coloring or you wanna do like fancy stuff, there's the brush nib and I love the brush nib. This is probably one of the best brush nibs I've ever used. So that's saying a lot. Also, can I just say, look at all the color choices. And I have some on my desk right now. So yes, this is great. The only downfall about these is because they are water-based markers, it's really hard to layer them. But that is a very common thing for water-based markers. So if you wanna layer, use an alcohol-based marker. But I can't count that against these because pretty much every water-based marker does that, you know? As for this drawing pencil set, five out of five. These are phenomenal pencils for the price you pay. I think I, if I remember it, I think I paid like $6 for them. I got two erasers, I got a pencil sharpener, charcoal pencils. Like this was awesome. And I think they were really good quality, especially for that price. So no complaints here. If I could complain about anything, it would be myself breaking one of the pieces of charcoal. That's it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this art supply review and let me know which supply in here was maybe the most interesting to you. If you wanna see more like doodly laid back videos like this where I test supplies from time to time so that you don't have to buy them and test them yourself, uh, let me know. Let me know down below what cool things you would maybe want me to test too. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a phenomenal day and see you next week. Bye.